Junk Removal Warriors, Joseph here, Vets Hall Junk Removal in Stafford, Virginia, on Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. Warriors, do not, this is the best advice I can give you today, do not provide services that you aren't licensed for. Stay within the scope of the junk removal services you provide. If you are demoing a hot tub, well, we all know that hot tubs typically are powered by electricity, so that means you must cut the cable to ensure that while you're demoing the hot tub, you aren't electrocuted. But let me rephrase that. Advise the customer when you're qualifying them that before you can come out to remove the hot tub, the hot tub should be emptied of water and the electricity disconnected by a licensed electrician for your safety and the longevity of your business. Ask the customer to provide you with the receipt of the electrician who disconnected power. Now we all know clients can disconnect their own electricity. It's not hard. So if the client decides to disconnect their own electricity and they can do that, just make sure that prior to you actually beginning demo operations on the jacuzzi, you test the current with an electric tester. And I'll even go one step further. If you have two electrical testers, test it twice with each of the electrical testers. Always ensure that your tester or both of your testers have brand new batteries that you installed that morning. It can be a minor inconvenience to put in new batteries, but it can be a lifesaver. What happens if maybe it's your first time or you don't use an electrical tester often or you're using an electrical tester that you're not familiar with and you believe that the power has been disconnected, but it hasn't. And the moment you cut into that power cable, bye-bye. He was a great chunk hauler, wish he was still with us. So always put fresh batteries in your tester. If you don't know how to use an electrical tester, then reach out to someone who can, who does, who can teach you. If you can't find anyone, look on YouTube. There's a plethora, an absolute, plethora of videos that will instruct you how to use an electrical tester, but do not, do not, do not, warriors do not provide services out of the scope of the junk removal services that you provide. If you are licensed as an electrician, then by all means, cut your own electrical cable. If something goes wrong and you cause damage to the client's home, because you are providing services that you aren't licensed for or insured for, guess what? You will absorb all of the financial repercussions because you will not be covered by insurance. Let that sink in. It seems very minor. I know how to cut the cable. I know how to ensure that my hot tub is safe to begin demo operations, but I'm not gonna do that because you could provide that type of service hundreds of times and you only need to be wrong once. So if you can absorb the financial repercussions of providing services out of the scope of junk removal or the services that you're insured and licensed for, by all means. But if not, warriors, just don't do it. And if the client decides that they're not gonna cut the electrical and they're not going to have a electrician cut the power because they trust you that you can do a good job. It's not a big deal. You can just cut it. Warriors, don't walk away from that project. Run away from that project. The best way to stay in business and stay out of trouble, Warriors, is to stay within the scope of the services you are licensed and insured to provide.